Hey guys, and welcome back to my... Ugh. That was too much. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim, and I upload videos about Lolita fashion. Let's have a conversation about budgeting and money for a second. Can we do that, just for a quick second? We don't talk enough about budgeting and financial literacy, just in general, in society, I don't think. I am just gonna do a quick video about some things that I do for budgeting and savings, specifically for Lolita. I mean, I do them in other parts of my life too, but for Lolita, they've worked out really well for me. And I just wanna share this information along. Hopefully it'll help someone. If you're stressing about how you're gonna make rent this month, but you bought three colorways of ice cream parlor last month, I'm gonna need you to come, come sit, sit down, sit down. Five minutes, we're gonna talk about budgeting, savings, things I did, things that might help you. Okay, one, two, three, let's go. First off, let me also say that I'm not a savings expert. I'm not a financial expert. I'm not here to tell you what to do with your money. So please don't go around telling people I told you what to do with your money because I didn't. I'm just trying to help you out. First tip I have is to set a budget. Um, if you've never sat down and looked at all the money coming into your account and all the money going out of your account, I would really recommend you do that. It is a really big reality check, um, especially when it comes to this hobby. Um, to kind of see how, how, how much money am I spending a year on Lolita? How much money did I spend last month on Lolita? Start with your expenses, your priorital, your priorital, it's not a word, <laughs> making up. Um, start with your priorities, your rent, your utilities, your food, your health insurance, all of those things. And then figure out how much money you have left over all right, y'all, I'm back with a wig and these bangs kicking up and kicking up. Figure out how much money you have left over. If you have other savings goals that are more important than like emergency savings, do that first. And then figure out how much do you have for the Lita? Do you wanna save every paycheck? Do you wanna save once a month? Um, do you wanna save during tax return? Whatever it may be, figure out how much money you can dedicate towards Lolita and then start squaring that money away. And then only spend money out of your Lolita savings because let me tell you, it's a lot more comfortable to spend money specifically dedicated to a pot than to spend it from something that you share with other things, which then leads me to my second tip, which is to have a separate pool of money dedicated for Lolita in like an account or an envelope or something. I use an app called Capital. It's like an online app and they send you like a little debit card. And I use that specifically for savings goals. So I have certain rules set up and you can say, hey, if I work out today for an hour, save $10 for me, thanks. Or hey, if I shop at Amazon, save $5. I don't need to be shopping at Amazon. You can also just set up a standard rule that's just like, hey, every paycheck, square away $20. Um, and it'll help grow your Lolita savings goal. You can add a little picture. It'll send you little notifications when you meet certain milestones towards your goal. It's really nice. Um, and so I recommend that because it is a lot easier to have a pot of money specifically dedicated towards Lolita and to only pull money from that account. I can easily see my goal and I don't have to be like, well, I have a thousand in here, but 400 dedicated to this and like $10 is to this. Like it's easier to just have it in different buckets of places. Um, if you get paid in cash, you can use envelopes. There's an envelope system method for budgeting that is very popular even to this day because some people don't trust banks because this is a frivolous hobby. This is a luxury hobby. Well, it is some frivolous shit. So don't be spending your expense money on frivolous shit. Cause I'm tired of seeing your emergency sale post. I'm, I'm tired of it. Stop buying all this and then talking about you can't pay rent. Damn. Number three, um, this is a no brainer. Sell items you don't wear anymore. Take a look at your closet and figure out, you know what? I'm, I'm not feeling this dress anymore. You know, I was feeling it once upon a time. I'm not feeling it anymore. I can sell it to make a little bit of extra money. And then that money that you make from selling items, put it into your Lolita savings and let your money grow. Let your savings grow or pay it towards debt. I don't know, but put it towards Lolita savings. Money in, money goes into the savings, money goes out to buy the dress you've been wanting. It all works, it all works. Also, make sure you wash your clothes before you sell them. Okay, thanks. The next tip I have is going to be, this is probably the, like the hardest tip to follow, especially for myself, and that's to avoid impulse buying. 
um, it is really easy to get caught up in a new release. The hype, you see it on social media. Oh, I really gotta get this print. Oh, it's gonna be a bloodbath. And like sometimes people get really influenced because other people like stuff. So it's really easy to get sucked into impulse buying. Impulse buying things you don't really like that much. If you avoid doing that, it is a lot easier to continue to have a pool of money to buy the things that you actually really do want. Especially if you have a wish list of items that are really hard to find. Ask yourself, can I live without this item? How important are these items on my wish list? How important is this dress that isn't even really in the colorway I like? It's not even really a print I like. I just, I want it because it's AP. How would you feel if your dream dress popped up on Frill tomorrow and you couldn't get it because you spent money buying a release the week before on a dress you didn't even care about? You open up your wallet and there's just dust bunnies and bats flying out of it. How mad would you be? You'd probably be pretty, you'd probably be really sad, huh? So if you can tell yourself, you know what, I'm not gonna impulse buy this month. Can I, can I commit to only buying items on my wish list for a month? If you could do that, you can do it for longer. You could save a lot of money that way by just saying, these items on my wish list are super duper important, and if this ain't it, honey, you can't come in this party. You can't join the party in my closet because you aren't on the VIP list. This is a goal I told myself um, for the rest of summer and into fall is that if an item pops up and it's not on my Lolita wish list, it's I'm not buying it. I have other savings priorities right now. I did this earlier this year. I did it before last year. Um, and it's also really helpful for other savings goals that you might have. So say you have a savings goal of Lolita. You want to save $500 so you can buy three lucky packs at the end of the year and you also are going to Japan next fall and you wanna be able to ball out of control and closet child in Japan and buy anything that you want. By not buying things that aren't on your wish list, it's just gonna help you save up that money even faster. Avoid the urge to impulse buy if you can. Another thing you can do is to sleep on it if something pops up and you really, really want it, sleep on it. Take a day or two. If you're still thinking about it and it's still there, then hey, maybe it's a good sign that you should get it. Or maybe it's not. Maybe you have the urge to say, nah. And then the last tip I have is to avoid using credit if you can. I got into trouble with credit cards when I was younger in college. That's how I got through college. And I used credit cards a lot. And then it bit me in the butt later because interest. I'm just swiping all the time. Then I'm like, oh, hey, I gotta pay this back with interest in this economy. I typically only buy things with cash. If I don't have the cash and I don't have it saved or I can't afford it, I'm not getting it. Like I don't need it that bad. So some people are financially responsible and they can use credit to their heart's content and they can get the points for mileage or whatever and then they pay it off at the end of the month. Unless you are financially responsible enough to buy things on credit and pay it off responsibly, don't do it use cash do you i'm not gonna tell you how to spend your money i said that i'm not gonna tell you how to spend your money i don't use credit i think the last time i used a credit card for lolita was for cat's tea party when the made made to order came out for cat's tea parties the last time i used credit card for lolita i use cash i use my debit card and if i don't have it i don't have it i check my account i check my saying can i afford it is it I, okay we good and if not i'm like you know what i don't need it that bad get a lot of trouble with credit cards. So this also applies to PayPal credit. Anything that you're financing, be financially responsible. If you don't have it, do you really need it? Do you really need it? Can you afford it? Like Susie Orman. Susie Orman, is that her name? She has a show, can I afford it? Can you afford it? Can you pay it off? If that interest hit, are you gonna be hurting? That's what I do, I avoid credit. When I went to Japan, I saved for months. I saved for months and months and months and I used cash for the majority of the shopping that I did. I didn't even spend all of my cash, actually. I still walked away with like 200 bucks I didn't save, which was kinda cool. AP didn't really have anything I wanted, so I think that's where I got a little lucky, but avoid using credit if you can. That's, that's the main tip. That's it. That's all of my tips and advice 
for budgeting and saving in Lolita and being responsible. I understand that talking about money and budgeting and finances can be really, really uncomfortable for some people. Some people have really small budgets. Some people have a lot of debt. Some people feel really ashamed of where they're at in their personal life as far as finances go. So um, I'm not here to make anyone feel uncomfortable. I know what that's like. I have been ashamed of my financial situation before. So I completely understand if this topic is uncomfortable and you don't like talking about it or you don't like dealing with it. But the earlier that you confront any type of budget or financial issue, the earlier you're able to make a plan for how you're gonna get from point A to point B, whether that's grow your Lolita savings account to $500 or $1,000, I don't know, maybe it's $100 or if it is to get your way out of debt so you can start putting more money towards Lolita. Sit down, have an honest conversation with yourself, make a budget, make a plan and execute on that plan. Be accountable and be responsible for your financial choices and your personal choices in your life. Lolita is not a requirement. Lolita is not something that you need to have unless again, it is your literal business or something, but it is a frivolous hobby. It is a hobby. When you when you feel good about your money and when you feel good and when you're able to like save towards something and look at that and be like, yeah, I did this. I've worked real hard for that. I don't want anyone to have regret about buying something. Damn, I shouldn't have bought that dress. That was really expensive. And now I don't know how I'm gonna eat this week. I don't want anyone to be in that situation. So please be financially responsible and read some articles about financial literacy. Um, get help from friends and family where you can and make financially sound decisions with your money and your hobby so you can feel a lot more confident and comfortable being in this hobby and spending your money on this hobby. The financial literacy is incredibly important. Um, we don't know what's gonna happen with the world economy. I don't know, there could be a Y2K for real and then all the computers crash and then I'm out of job. So let's be responsible, let's be smart, let's, let's make smart decisions. Okay, I'm done rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any tips about what has worked for you as far as budgeting and saving for Lolita goes, please leave a comment. I would love to hear about it. Maybe there's some things that I could be doing or some things that you've done that have worked really well for you that you'd like to share. I'd love to hear about it. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video and thanks so much for watching. Bye.